Hello and welcome to this forum, A Few Minutes with Dr. Tokumbo Alamu Yorokun, author of the book On the Wings of My Yoruba Ancestors, also known as Legacy of the Cap. Dr. Yorokun has written the second book titled Nigeria, A Different Look. This is a social political book that we want to spend a few minutes today talking with Dr. Yorokun about. Welcome, Dr. Yorokun. Thank you. So, Dr. Yorokun, what motivated you to write this book? The motivation for writing the book derived from listening to conversations about Nigeria, um, engaging in discussions about Nigeria, and being in a discussion forum where we talk everything about Nigeria as well as um, other aspects of life. And it, it occurred to me that uh, oftentimes when people uh, discuss what works and what doesn't work uh, in Nigeria, they overlook the circumstances under which things work and sometimes do not work. And so I decided to put on paper some of my thinking about um, what is, why do things work the way they do in Nigeria and sometimes do not work. And the conclusion I came to is the fact that it seems to me that everything in Nigeria is working. Um, under the prevailing circumstances, they seem to be working the best way they can. And that was why I wrote the book. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Yorokun, what, uh, how is the book structured? Because it talks about different aspects of uh, life in Nigeria. It includes discussions on uh, politics. We, it also talks about social services. It talks about education. It talks about population density. Uh, it also includes a discussion on um, governance and commerce. Um, as many aspects of um, life in Nigeria as possible. Okay, very good. Uh, what did you hope to achieve with this book? I hope to be able to use the book to contribute to social discourse on Nigeria. Okay. Hopefully, some of the ideas in the book or some of the questions raised and challenges posed in the book will motivate um, individuals to take a different look at how things work or why things work in Nigeria and why they do not work. And hopefully, from looking at it from different points of view, uh, better uh, circumstances will be created to make things work um, where they do not work and where they work to make them work even much uh, better. That is the uh, hope for the book. Well, thank you. Uh, so, Dr. Yorokun, what is next for you now? So, I also have two books uh, in the works um, ready for publication. and. Um, one of them, the title is As Far As I Can See. Uh, the writing of this book was motivated by a visit I made to my grandfather's farmland. Um, I'd known about the farmland for over 50 years, but I'd never been there. And so on the day I went to the farmland with my uncle Lamidi, we got to the farmland, stopped, stepped out of the car, and the best way he could describe the expanse of land was, you see, look in this direction, the land extends as far as your eye can see. And so I decided to write um, a book with that title. And it's a series of short stories about uh, that experience and similar experiences that I had. Okay. Now the other book is titled Sentimental Travels in Africa. This was motivated by an uh, epic journey that I made to Sabe in Benin Republic. Sabe is my ancestral home. That was where my grandfather um, originally came from before we settled in Ise, Nigeria. And um, I also had the opportunity to travel to Lusaka in Zambia uh, for my niece's wedding. Uh, the experiences from these um, journeys and travels uh, motivated me to write this book, Sentimental, because a lot of the experiences were very sentimental. Um, it also um, made me to realize how strong a uh, family bond exists among Africans in general and in particular among the Yorubas from which I am from. And so that is the motivation behind um, this book. Hopefully um, other things will come up where that will give me ideas to write more books. 
So that is the plan for the future. Well, thank you, Dr. Iroko. Uh, there's no doubt your latest book, Nigeria, a different look, uh, would definitely instigate uh, all types of discussions amongst uh, the various audiences that read this book. So, Dr. Iroko, thank you very much again. It has been a pleasure. Thank you.